What is going on everybody? DJ Minds here and today we are finally reviewing the newest technology. The newest GPU released from Nvidia, the RTX 4070 Ti. Now this is very exciting for me because this is the first video that I have made reviewing a 40 series GPU. We did do a live stream or two but we haven't actually officially made a video so let's talk about it. Oh and one disclaimer we are focused on crypto mining so if you're here just for like a gaming review on the 4070 Ti this would definitely be the wrong video for you. Now there there is one person that I want to give a special thanks to, and that is Endless Mining. I'll put a link in the description below. It's not sponsored or anything. I mean, I guess technically he is. He sends me the newest GPUs. I review them on my channel, and then I send them back to him. Simple as that. You know, he's, he's an awesome guy. He's been very helpful. He sent us the 4090, the 4080, and the 4070 Ti. And from what I can tell, he has the best pricing besides like buying used or some sketchy place off of Facebook. He has the best prices of S19 XPs. I actually bought this with my own money 100% paid out of pocket got the 134 terabyte at 4800 and then he also has the 144 at 5776 and this is actually the cheapest because it's free shipping and I had no hidden tariffs or any of that garbage so it was a great price all right so the MSRP of the 4070 Ti is 799 we'll call it 800 bucks now if you are trying to buy 4070 Ti aftermarket obviously it's going to be a little bit more expensive I've seen them anywhere from 850 on Best Buy for maybe the MSRP size or whatever the zotac 830 something around there but we'll go with the msrp of 799 so the first good thing that I want to talk about for the 4070 Ti is the TDP. This was a huge concern for everybody before they officially released. Are we going to need new PSUs? Is this going to be too many watts? Can these fit in octo miners? Now, the TDP for this is set at 314. However, when I leave it at zero core, zero memory, and just let it run free, it never even got close to that. I believe the highest I ever saw was on something like Ravencoin, which is around 250. So this is really no issue whatsoever for GDR6 at least in my testing and that was also the same for the 4090 and the 4080 they would really never go over 300 i mean you could make them if you really pushed it but it was kind of difficult and i didn't really see at least for the 4070 ti specifically i never saw it go over that 270 range another pro for the 4070 ti is they are very easy to get you do not have to worry about scalpers i know the 4090 we have had to worry about scalpers lately it seems like it's been getting a little bit better people that have them at their micro center or even their best buy i don't don't have a micro center so I can't really tell you but I've been watching other youtubers videos and it seems like that GPU has been getting scalped but the 4070 Ti and the 4080 seem like it's no issue to get you can get it for quote-unquote MSRP and it's really no problem another major pro for the 4070 Ti is the cooling honestly the 40 series in general is god tier I had a heat gun up to it and it was maybe two or three degrees warmer than the ambient temperatures that is insane the ambient temperatures at the time obviously were like 60 so it was like maybe 62 63 degrees it was really nothing no problems whatsoever you could put your hand on it even the 4090 when i had that maxed out as much as i could get it there was almost no heat produced where the 3090 the 3080 the 3070 ti produced so much heat really fills up the room it could be also because this room is large i'll give you that but i really tried looking for heat and it was not an issue so i think on a larger scale if you were looking to get involved in the 40 series maybe even the 4070 ti it's going to be a lot less of an issue especially in the summertime compared to the 30 series now obviously the 3070 3060 ti which is just using gdr6 i wouldn't really think it's, it's fair to compare them but maybe the 3070 ti and on i do think the cooling is significantly better with these another major pro for the 4070 ti is the size this was a huge concern can these fit in server cases the octo miners what minor dude whatever they happen to be absolutely i'll show you here i compared the 4070 ti to a 3070 now this is an MSI it is a larger 3070 but it still is a 3070 and it was significantly smaller I also compared it to a 3090 and it was definitely smaller than a 3090 for the win three so yeah if your concern is the size the width whatever for this GPU specifically it will be no issue at least the Zotac version another huge W for the 4070 Ti is the fact that it works incredibly on low wattage or high wattage it, in between it didn't really matter it always performs 
very well. Definitely better or on par with the 30 series. And that's also where this video starts to turn a little bit. It's not all good. While using the 4070 Ti, the performance is good, but it wasn't next gen. It didn't have that, oh my goodness, feel like the 4090 did. Even the 4080 was still wow, but the 4090 really blew me away. The 4070 Ti, honestly, I felt like I was using a 3070, maybe on certain algorithms. I felt like I was using a 3080, but it was nothing like, wow, man, this is the future. This is the next gen. It was like, oh, is this another 3070, maybe 3080? Like, I don't know. I didn't really get that wow factor whatsoever. Another con is the price at $799 after tax or whatever version you're getting. I mean, we're talking almost $900 for similar performance as far as mining, because again, that's what this video is about. So is it really worth it to pay that premium I would say absolutely not for mining specifically. However, there is a situation where I would strongly recommend the 4070 Ti or one of the 40 series. And I would say if you're going to game on it, if you already have a 30 series, probably not worth your time. However, if you got a 2060, if you have a 2070, you know, even a 10 series, definitely if you have a 10 series, absolutely. And, and the reason is because obviously this can be used for gaming. It is incredible for 4K and for gaming. Again, not what this video is about. And one thing that's really important is the resellability. Yes, you can say whatever you want that the 3080 or 3070 is great for mining because it is. However, when you try to resell that one day, there is a stigma behind having a three instead of a four, right? So it's the same way when we were on the 30 series and somebody tried to sell you 2060, 2070. Me personally, it was older tech. I wasn't really into it unless it was maybe like a 2080 Ti or something. It was very specific for me. And I think you're still gonna have that stigma going forward. So yes, absolutely, as a gamer, or if you're gonna use it for some sort of gaming or other reason, I think the 4070 Ti is fantastic. However, for crypto mining, just simply to like go out and buy all these GPUs just for crypto mining, I would say skip it. The other elephant in the room about this graphics card is why does it even exist? There were supposed to be two versions of the 4080. Everybody was really upset. This is only 12 gig. Another reason where I'm kind of like, I mean, we already had that, the 3060. So again, it's just another feeling of eh, I mean, eh, that's really all I felt. Now, one thing that really limits this graphics card is the bus size. That is why we can't do or see some crazy numbers. They limit that. But another pro I do want to mention is there's no LHR. I think NVIDIA would have shot themselves in the foot if they would have put LHR on this. Nobody would have bought these. So there are a couple people buying them. And again, of course, the gamers. But, you know, 12 gigs VRAM, not the coolest thing ever. But basically, this was supposed to be a 4080. And if this was labeled as a 4080 compared to the other 4080 that I actually tried, the true one, I would be rather upset. So the fact they give you a little discount and labeled it a 4070 Ti, I mean, not the worst thing in the world. Again, you know, if we were in a bull run, I think these things will shoot to the moon. Absolutely. I, I can't imagine these staying at $800, though it's very risky and it's probably better to just get the 30 series if you're worried about crypto mining. Another disappointing thing about the 4070 Ti, at least in my testing, my noob testing, was the fact that I couldn't really get crazy numbers for the memory. On the 30 series, if I would normally go 2000 on the memory or 2200, or 2400, I kind of had to do the same thing with the 4070 Ti. I never really had that wow factor of like, oh my God, man, I just went 500 memory above the 30 series. It was never that feeling. It was like, oh, this is the same overclocks or very similar overclocks. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a little more efficient in, in some algos, but is it worth the price point? Is it worth it for you to go out and buy these? Probably not. So let's go ahead and talk numbers here. This is going to be everything for Flux. These are amount of souls I got. I highlighted the yellow one, which for me was the best and the most efficient. Now you'll see here for me, and I did play around with like 30 other options, by the way, but for me, I feel like that zero zero is good. I've always liked around that zero core or 200 core, 100 core, kind of the same vibe here for the 40 series. But yeah, we got 92 souls at zero core, zero memory, 130. 
135 watts. I can get that down, to be clear. You definitely get that down to 120, 110. But the performance, it starts to go down a lot. And that's still, honestly, a really solid number. 92 souls, I don't think that's anything to laugh at. Uh, you're definitely not going to be getting that with most 3070s, I think. If you get it with your 3070, definitely let me know. Huge con here, though, and I have to talk about this. Though it could make the 4070 Ti better in the long run, we'll find out with time. I could not get the extra parameters to work here. You can see this is something that I would try normally, and I've tried many different numbers with the 30 series, and it works great. And you start getting those 3070s to around 100 watts, 110 watts. The 40 series, even Rondi tried this for me. He is like the overclock god. Shout out to my boy, Rondi and Brian Hollywood. He couldn't even get these extra parameters to work. So I'm not exactly sure, is that a 4070 Ti issue? Is it because of the bus limitation? Maybe the tech's just not there. Maybe the 4070 Ti will improve over time. I really don't know the answers to that. Though I kind of feel like it's more of, it's just limited because yeah, they cheaped out. Thank you, Nvidia. Looking at Ethereum Classic, Decent numbers, right? Decent numbers, 1200 core, memory 2200. I did a lot more in betweens. And again, it kept crashing. I tried 2800. That's why I wrote crash there. There was a lot of issues or really just lackluster feelings of just, wow, is this a 3070? Is, you know, it's nothing crazy. It's nothing you haven't already seen. And I was very disappointed, at least in my testing. The best that I got was around 64.64 hash on Ethereum Classic at 115 watts. Again, I'm sure you could dial that down, but it kind of gives you an idea. I covered Ravencord here. I'm not going to cover Neoxa and Meowcoin and all that. You can feel free to go look at that for yourself. It's going to be a very similar algorithm, if not the same for a lot of these. But the best I got was 29 mega hash. And that's not a good number. Not at all. I tried zero, zero. I tried zero, 2200. I tried zero, 500. It's going to be somewhere in that ballpark of the 30 range. Maybe you'll get up to 32 or 33. It doesn't matter. It wasn't very efficient. Uh, again, it's just to show you there's nothing crazy for Raven on this. Same kind of idea with Ergo, though I was impressed a little bit more on Ergo. We got 128 mega hash. That's 1200 on the core, 2000 on the memory, 2200 on the memory is also equally as good. This could just be the error of why the efficient efficiency is a little bit better. The algorithm does go up and down 76 watts and 79 watts. Now that is pretty good. It's not the craziest thing in the the entire world but low wattage decent performance it's okay caspa is something i've never mined before so i don't even know if i got the efficiency correct these numbers are stupid and crazy 665 which was 1455 on the core zero memory i don't know one of the viewers recommended that this is probably a terrible overclock just to get you an idea about 79 watts 8.41 efficiency and then we also had some parameters going as well i didn't even include that in here but caspa once again at 1.254 and zero core zero memory that runs 200 27 watts at a 5.52 efficiency now in summary should you go out and buy this graphics card again i probably won't at this current price now if it came down 200 bucks absolutely i would consider buying this i probably actually would pull the trigger at six maybe seven probably not seven but definitely at that 600 650 range i would certainly go buy one and i would not be surprised if we started to see more and more people build these rigs i've actually never seen one on youtube and i think that'd be really cool to see somebody's six or eight gpu rig of the 47 Ti or maybe even the 4070. Now, if this is what the 4070 Ti has to offer, I think the 4070 is going to be pretty disappointing. I do. I've again tested the 4090, 4080, 4070 Ti. I think the 4070 is going to be really disappointing, man. I think it's not even going to feel like next technology, next gen. I do believe that's still GDR6X. And I think probably this 4070 Ti is going to be what the 3070 was. I'm just assuming here because you can get this thing under 100 watts or around 100 watts on certain algorithms and be really good. So I definitely think 4070 Ti will probably be the, the slept on GPU compared to the 4070. We'll see what happens once they release it. If you made it to this part in the video, do put in hashtag potato. I don't even know how to spell that. I have to look that up. Hashtag potato. I hope you like this review. I definitely want to review all of the 40 series, man. And uh, hey, we got that crypto mining shed that we need to pay for. So daddy's making a lot of videos. Please like this video. Consider subscribing. Check me out on Twitter and Discord. And also do check out that link for endless mining. Appreciate what you do for me and my channel. And I love every single one of you. DJ Mines signing out.